As a man thinks, so is he. Watch out for what we consider to be the little sins. They sneak up on us with little cat's feet. You give a little room in your mind to those things, and soon they'll take over your life. There is only one passion that is big enough for a man or a woman, and that is the passion of Christ. Fill your mind with that. They say, I don't know who they are, but they say that some men are so heavenly minded they're no earthly good. But I say the only people who are any earthly good are the heavenly minded people. I don't find these people too often, mind you. Most of us are so earthly minded, we're no heavenly good. The Bible tells us we're all supposed to set our minds on things above, where Christ is. It makes a difference, I'll tell you. Great peace, great joy, come to those who set their mind on Christ. What does the scripture say? Concerning those whose minds are stayed on Him. That's where our confidence is. And I don't say that we're always thinking about the Lord. We have to think about our business. We have to think about our family. We have to think about our assembly responsibilities. The question is, where is your mind pinned? Like a piece of elastic. You can stretch it around, but when you let it go, where does it come back to? Where is your mind pinned? When you have two minutes at the stoplight, or waiting for the elevator, or waiting for a phone call, where does your mind go? If it goes to Christ, then you will have peace in your heart and confidence and joy in the Lord Jesus.